Hello guys and welcome back, Nandi here. Today we have unboxing day. We have a really uh, big envelope here. And inside I hope we, uh, we will uh, find some, uh, some good banknotes for reselling on eBay and some uh, to keep for my uh, modest banknote collections. So, you know the drill. I will open the banknote now. I'm sorry, the envelope. So let's see, I, I don't remember what, uh, because I have I have uh, won some actions the last month, but uh, some of the auctions that I won, uh, they've been delayed and I can't remember now uh, what kind of uh, banknotes I have bought, so I have purchased, so let's see, it's a surprise for me also. But I have uh, I have an idea. Maybe it is uh, th th uh, about 30 foreign banknotes, mixed banknotes. These are the kind of uh, auctions that I really like to uh, to win on eBay. As may you know, I do buy plenty of banknotes on eBay. I will keep some of them for my collection, and uh, they will go back to eBay. Uh, Mixed with all the banknotes that I have in my uh, possession. Oh, so yes, this is the. So these are the banknotes. About thirty banknotes, if I'm, if I remember correctly. Uh, these are, of course, uh, in circulated condition or in damaged condition. But uh, the banknotes in damaged con damaged condition, I will uh, uh, throw them. So. I will keep only the the few the good ones and uh, in this in this lot I uh, I have two or three banknotes that I will keep because uh, those banknotes were the main reason that I that I I wanted to win this this auction so let's see now uh, the first one is 100 uh, kwacha from Zambia a country in uh, in Africa I have plenty of uh, Zambian banknotes in uh, maculate condition, in uncirculated condition. Maybe some years I'm missing, but uh, this will not go to my collection. This will go back to eBay. Uh, what we have here are Chinese. Two Jiao from the, from the 80s, I think. I have this banknote in much better condition. Back to eBay. Here we have an Italian 1000 lira. Here we have Giuseppe Verdi, a very, very famous Italian uh, opera. Uh, I forgot how, how the English the English word of the of the of the profession. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure I will remember remember his profession when I will stop recording because, well, when you are live and you you your uh, English vocabulary is very very poor, so that's the thing. I have that. Here we have a Brazilian, one Cruzeiro. This is one of my favorite series of Brazil. Very modest design, but uh, at the same time very beautiful. I have this in a much better condition. I have uh, plenty of... Uh, Brazil is one of the countries that I have plenty of, of banknotes from different uh, periods, different series. So check, uh, check my... Uh, South American uh, playlist guys to to see to watch to watch my Brazilian collection of coins and banknotes. Another Italian, one thousand lira from the eighties. These banknotes uh, are very very common in this kind of uh, mixed uh, foreign lots. These are my favorite to, to purchase or 
to win uh, to win the, the auctions. Uh, this is a very badly shaped uh, Zambian 500 Quacha. This is a polymer one. Even the polymer one is the plastic, not not the paper, is in a really bad condition. Really, really bad condition. First time uh, seeing a polymer banknote in this condition. Very strange. I think maybe I will I will uh, throw this back not. I don't know. Here we have what is this? Another Brazilian one from this is from the 50s or 60s. 100 uh, Cruzeiros. Can't remember the date, but I have this. Uh, the series in almost uncirculated condition. So 95% of my uh, of my modest collections are comprised from uh, banknotes that I have uh, kept through the years from uh, this kind of mixed foreign banknotes, because I will rarely uh, will rarely uh, purchase something exclusively for my collection. And for me, this is the, the best way to collect. Back to eBay, another, another Quacha, 1000 Quacha, in a really, really bad shape from Zambia. Uh, the show must go on. Here we have a French, 100 francs. The date is uh, 1950. I believe I have this banknote in in a really nice condition. Of course, back to eBay. And this is one of those banknotes that I will uh, throw into the bin. A very very damaged uh, turn Brazilian turn uh, Cruzeiros. This will go to the bin. Here we have. Another Brazilian one, 100 Cruzeiros. Let's see, we have a date here. Most of the Brazilian banknotes don't have don't have dates, so it's it's a uh, it's a little bit uh, hard to to remember the the date. Another Brazilian one. Oh, this is the upside down, the same, the same kind of design uh, series of Brazil. So in whichever side you put the banknote, it's the same thing. I have this. Uh, here we have a Turkish from uh, 500,000 lira or lirasi. Uh, from uh, late 80s, early 90s, uh, hyperinflative uh, denomination. I was uh, I was surprised uh, because I've I've sold many many of these uh, Turkish hyperinflative uh, banknotes. Uh, to my surprise, uh, they they sell very very good. They sell very very good. So that's nice. Only when I, only when I uh, put them only in uh, a Turkish listing with these uh, hyper hyper inflative banknotes, they sell very very good. So this was uh, one of the banknotes that I uh, I wanted to, to win this auction. I don't have this banknote. This is a paper one and it's a gorgeous uh, banknote from Malawi, 500 Quacha. This is just, just superb. This is my favorite series from Malawi. I have a few banknotes from Malawi. Uh, some African countries are really, really hard to get or to find in this, uh, in uh, these uh, foreign mixed banknotes lots. So yeah. This will go directly to my collection. As I said before, or in my previous videos, 
I don't mind if the banknote is in, circula uh, in circulated uh, condition. For me, this banknote has my approval. And as I said before, I don't spend money to buy exclu exclusively for my collection. So this is the way, my, my modest way to collect. And I'm really happy for, for what I have at the moment. So this will go to my, uh, to my collection. Another one. This was another uh, banknote that I wanted for my collection. Uh, from Peru, 5,000 uh, soles de oro. Or Golden Suns, maybe. From 1981. Mm, I, I don't remember, I have this banknote, but I, I don't think I have this banknote. I don't think I have this banknote. Here we see workers in the mine. Extracting gold because Chile is one of those countries that have uh, plenty of of, uh, of gold. So yeah, this banknote will go to my collection. Here we have a common banknote now. Oh, another Turkish. Uh, 500 rupiah from Indonesia. I do love Indonesian currency. One of my favorite countries to collect. I have this banknote in uh, uncirculated condition. I have three of them. Really, really nice uh, to see them in uncirculated condition. So this will go back to eBay. Here we have another Turkish, Turkish one in a really bad, bad shape. One million lirasi. Hyperinflative years, 80s, 90s. Back to eBay, another one from Indonesia, 1000 rupiah. Back to eBay, I have that. Another Turkish one, 100,000 lirasi. This is in a nice condition. So I will do another uh, listing on eBay only with uh, Turkish uh, lirasi. Another good one, this is an uh, Italian one, 5,000 lira, pre-euro, a really beautiful design. I have this banknote, back to eBay. Here we have another banknote that I uh, wanted for my collection, very scarce to find, another South American country, Paraguay, 1,000 guaranis. Very, very beautiful banknote. Very beautiful banknote. Please check out my uh, Uruguay, no, I'm sorry, Paraguay, uh, my Paraguayan modest uh, coin on banknote collection on the South uh, America playlist on my channel. Very beautiful. This is another banknote that I don't have, and I will keep this banknote uh, for my collection. Here we see 10, uh, 10 mark, 1905, from uh, Germany, I think this is German. Yes, Berlin, here we see Berlin. I don't have this banknote. I'm uh, restarting to to collect the, the old German banknotes. I have had plenty of them, but I have sold through through the years. So it's time now to, to recollect them, even in, the, in this condition. Uh, what we have here are really badly shaped 1000 Italian lira. Oh, this is bad, very, very bad. So we'll, this will go to the bin. Uh, here we have another Turkish one, 1000 Lirasi from the 70s, 80s. Again, back to eBay. 
Oh. Uh, so, this is the first time I have in my hands 500 uh, rupees from uh, uh, from Pakistan. So, this is my highest denomination banknote from Pakistan, and of course this will go to my uh, to my collection, my Pakistani collection. Very neat. Really beautiful. To my collection, here we have a Bulgarian uh, communist period to Leva. This is the series 7074. Yes, 74. Here we see Narodna Republika uh, Bulgaria, National uh, Republic of Bulgaria. Narodna main, mean, in Slavic means uh, uh, national. You will learn some things. Uh, this is this is the uh, the, the main reason or the main banknote that I wanted to to win this auction, and this it is the last to see. Here we see a uh, French twenty francs. 1993, 20 francs. I have this banknote in a much better condition, so this will go back to eBay. Another one from Zambia, 50 kwacha. Not in the best condition, as may you see. But of course, some of these uh, very, very damaged banknotes will go, I will throw them to the bin, no point, maybe I will, uh, it's a loss for me, but of course the banknotes that I have uh, kept for my collection uh, have more value than the uh, what I've paid for uh, for this uh, for this foreign lot, I think I paid um, almost 14 or 15 dollars, 15 dollars, 1 on 5, so yeah, I'm happy. And this was the main reason, this was the banknote that I wanted so badly to have in my collection. This is the 5 million Intis. This is the series of hyperinflation in the late, uh, in the late 80s. I have most of uh, the banknotes from this series, but this is the highest, 5 million Intis. And this was the main reason. I will say again uh, to win this uh, to win this auction. Here we see 1990, and this was the highest denomination of that period and of this series. I think I'm missing the one million, the one million on the five hundred thousand, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'm really really happy guys. So tell me in the comments below what uh, which banknote was your your favorite banknotes. Uh, I think you will choose from the banknotes that I put here that will go to my uh, to my collection. So here we have the banknotes. So you uh, you understand how I, uh, how I how I collect. This is my uh, my modest way to collect banknotes, but as I said before, I'm really really happy. Not all my banknotes are in uh, circulated condition. I have bought uh, some other in uncirculated condition if the price is the right price. But yeah, these are the banknotes that will go to my uh, uh, to my collections in their respective countries. So we have here. Uh, five different countries. So here we have Peru, Peru. Here we have Malawi, Germany, Paraguay, and this beautiful 500 rupees from uh, Pakistan. So guys, yeah. tell me uh, what, uh, which banknote did you like? For me, this is this is my second choice, but this was my primary objective to have this beauty in my collection. 
let me know guys which banknote was your favorite banknote from this lot i know not everything uh, uh, not every uh, one of my videos or my unboxings unboxings have uh, uncirculated or in a very fine condition banknotes but what can i do i uh, i need to, to have some banknotes uh, uh, for resale on eBay, so I will buy uh, in different condition banknotes. Guys, if you like the video, please give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, your kind words, your support in the last month. Uh, it was very very generous. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, of course, if you are new to my channel and this is your first time watching one of my videos, please consider subscribing. Uh, you will find uh, plenty of unboxings, foreign coins, foreign banknotes. Uh, please check out check out the, the playlist on uh, my channel. I I believe you will enjoy my uh, my videos at least the last two years because. Uh, I've uh, started the channel in 2015, but the, the first three years, uh, the the videos were, were just one minute or two minute videos without explaining anything. So, two years now, I I do my best to to explain, to to tell you uh, curiosities, what I've uh, learned in uh, in the last six years of my. Uh, uh, numismatic experiences so guys uh, I forgot these two will go to the bin and these are the banknotes that I will uh, rearrange with uh, much better foreign banknotes uh, to resell on eBay so guys if you are interested please check out my website uh, the link is in the video description nandicollector.com it's my uh, personal website uh, and uh, I've put there my eBay uh, eBay listing. You will find plenty, plenty of uh, of banknotes. So again, guys, thank you very, very much, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye.